Hey everybody, Live Farmer 73 here, on my way to work. Reason I'm doing a video right now is because uh, I went out and I checked my um, I checked my chickens, I checked all my traps, and number one sign, <clears throat> so far it worked. Uh, the P, I put P all around my chicken coop. And whatever it is won't even come inside, won't even come inside the chicken run at all. So the traps that's inside the run are untouched. I didn't find any uh, footprints or anything, so it must have got the message. But that didn't make me happy enough. I went around because we had another hard freeze. It got down to 27 degrees, so I wanted to check on my lemon trees and stuff again. And I went in the back, and it was dark. And what I found was maybe it didn't care about what was in the chicken coop or in the chicken run because it's, it found the chicken that I I, uh, I buried yesterday. <laughs> now, here's the thing about that. You saw the urine that I poured around it, right? Okay. Whatever animal this is that just bypassed that smell and my scent, the scent of a human male, it's desperate. And I said that yesterday. I don't know what was breaking in my house, but things, animals, this the time of year, things start getting desperate. Food starts becoming scarce, even for people, you know. So animals is no different. I say that in my last video. You know, everything that you want to eat, it wants to eat. The predators want to eat it too, and probably you. So here's the other thing. Uh, that lets me know that this animal is desperate, and a desperate animal is dangerous. So I hightailed it off the uh, off the island as fast as I could because it's dark. I'm, I was armed at the time, but you know, it's still dark. And uh, that just makes everything that much worse. So I found another thing that showed me desperation of this animal. The other problem that I saw was this animal dug up and whatever it is, it's huge, whatever it is. I'm thinking it's a coyote because it dug a hole two and a half feet deep and it dug under a tree that I just planted this year um, and I'm going to have to go check a couple of other trees now that I think about it but it dug under the tree like it, it could smell right where it was you know what it, what it found you guys remember me uh, planting my trees and putting um, eggs, old eggs under the tree it found that, it smelled that, and it found it, and it dug it up, and it, it, it ate old rotten eggs. And whatever it was, was huge because the hole was about a foot and a half wide and two and a half feet deep. I just couldn't believe it, you know, and to be honest with you, like I said, I ain't got to prove my manhood to nobody. That It scared the shit out of me. So as I'm looking at that, I was like, you know, I got to get out of here because even though I was armed, whatever this is, and who said it's only one animal? Who said it's only one? What if it's several? What if it's a pack? I'm not ready for that. So uh, that animal has the advantage. You can see in the dark, it might, be, it might have more than one animal with it um, to partner up. And here I am in the dark, getting ready for work. You know, I got on shiny clothes. So anyway, just to let you guys know, this is part of the game right here. And I'm going to keep you all posted on everything with, uh, with the situation on my island. This is stuff I normally don't really show. But since everybody is... Uh, starting to wonder about this homestead thing i don't want to show you all the the pretty vegetables and the beautiful delicious fruit that you get i want to show you the ups and the downs of 
what that fruit and those vegetables and that livestock really cost you. Okay? Because there's a cost. Man hours, number one. Number two, loss of vegetables, loss of fruit, loss of livestock. That costs you too. So nobody ever thinks about that. Even if you don't eat meat and uh, you just eat vegetables, you still lose vegetables and fruit to these same predators. You lose your peaches, you lose your plums, you lose your apples, you lose all of that because they want it too. They want that nutrition just as much as you do. So that's it for now, you guys. Let me hurry up, get to work. I'm kind of running late. So, uh, oh, crap. Somebody, my boss calling me now. All right, Lair Farmer 73, I'm going to keep you updated when I get home from work. If I get home from work in the daylight, I'll show you what happened. I kicked, I kicked the dirt back into uh, the hole that that animal dug under my tree because I didn't want to expose the roots, keep them exposed too long. Even though I'm sure the tree is asleep, it's a pear tree, still. So I let you guys keep you in the in the uh, circle about everything that's going on. Okay. Sorry, you can't see my face. I'm driving. Y'all know that. All right, Land Farm Seven Three. I love you. Have a beautiful day. Happy holidays to you. And I'm out.